Hey y'all, Andrew at Microphonic Designs here at Van Alstine High School. I am pretty much done setting up their audio system for the 2023 season. There's one last thing I need to do, which is color code the snake, but we'll get to that in a second. I started out today uh, by kind of going into the back of their mixer cart and just cleaning it up, making sure, uh, you know, things were easy to access, uh, getting all the power cables to their side, getting the snake in here and all that stuff, um, making sure everything is uh, nice and clean and, uh, again, easy to access. Now, they're not using their wireless system this year, uh, but uh, I did leave everything installed and I have the three wireless channels coming here. Uh, this is going to be, you know, this is the snake going to the front ensemble. And then they have four channels here for their side two sideline mics uh, for their soloists or quartets or whatever they're going to be doing. Um, so I've left some open channels. I'm uh, consulting with them on, you know, the best way to get those mics plugged in here. Uh, so that's a look inside the mixer cart. Um, I also double checked the speakers and everything. Those are looking good, sounding good. Uh, they have the uh, the design where the subwoofer basically separates out the signal. So they've got a couple of um, two-channel speak-on cables coming out the front here. So basically each of these cables carries the, the amplified signal for both the, um, the full-range cabinet and the subwoofer. So that's really cool. I got everything uh, good and nice and color-coded there. I also added a power cable to their snake. So I stretched everything out, added zip ties to the whole thing so that when they deploy the snake, they have power going out to their electronics. And you'll know, so see there I have a green cable, a green power cable attached to an XLR bundle going back to the synths. We'll take a look at that in a second. The keyboard, uh, keyboard cabling and mics are pretty straightforward. Y'all know I like to keep it clean for the people. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, clean cabling all throughout. Uh, they've got three marimbas this year. So they've got uh, marimba three, two, and one. And then we've actually got vibraphones, one, two, and three over there in the back. And uh, vibraphone three just comes forward with a jumper cable connecting it to the end here. So real straightforward. And then we just have the cables come in to the middle to the snake. So real quick, real nice and easy, real quick and easy. Now back here in the electronics land, this is what took a long time today. I was really trying to figure out how I wanted to do all of this. And so the first step was getting the bundle put together. So we've got six XLR cables and the power cable going forward to the snake. That carries the signal. For synth one in the big cart, synth two on the open frame, and the SP404 over there on the end. And I've got uh, two stereo DI boxes down here that are strapped on. I mean, these things are not going anywhere. Um, so I've got a DI box for synth one, the SP404, and then a pair of mono DI boxes here for synth two. And so what they'll need to do is basically, the, now this cable is, is kind of bad. Uh, there's some nasty sounds coming from this cable a minute ago. Um, but all they'll need to do here for synth two is get a couple of short instrument cables to go from the input. So white and double white and connect it over here, white and double white. So that's one thing they'll, they'll have to do because I couldn't find any, uh, any more instrument cables. And then back here, synth one, real easy. We've got just the left and the right output going through some quarter inch cables that I just pulled through the, the um, open dish here and they come down to the student. And the idea here is that the student is just gonna pass these over and connect them to red and double red on the top DI box there. The bottom DI box that goes to the SP404, that doesn't have to come unplugged. In fact, that's all zip tied here, going straight across and up to the 404. And I did test everything. I got sound coming properly through everything. Although the only thing with the 404 is that the DI box, for whatever reason, the, the pad buttons, the minus 15 dBs, they're stuck. <laughs> I found this DI box and realized after I got it on that these both of them, the left and the right, are both stuck. Not for this one up top, that one's fine. But the one down below, uh, those buttons are stuck. So in the mixer cart, 
uh, the gain has to be a little bit higher for the SP404, but it still sounds fine. It's just um, those buttons are stuck for whatever reason. And, uh, and y'all, this setup took me a long time today. I got here at 10 a.m., took a quick 30 minutes for lunch earlier, and it's uh, coming up on 7 p.m. now. And uh, like I said, the last thing I need to do is color code the snake. Um, but uh, before I unplug all of that to get the colors on there, I just wanted to kind of showcase what's going on. Um, took took a, whew, a lot of effort today, but I'm pretty proud of, uh, of how it turned out. I'm also not totally feeling 100% today, but, um, you know, still showing up, getting it done. Hoping to, uh, or aiming to please my client here so that they have a nice, efficient setup for the year. Oh, yeah, and then I've got the, um, the, power, the power strip here on the cart. So I've got, uh, this is the power cable for Synth 2. This here is the power cable for the SP404. And then we have the orange cable. Oops, there we go. Uh, that's going over here to synth the cart for Synth 1. And the reason that I didn't put all of this stuff in the Synth 1 cart is because I didn't have enough cables uh, to take four channels of audio from this cart into this cart. So I just figured, you know what? It's less connections anyway to just run the two quarter-inch cables over to this DI box uh, and have everything on this cart kind of on, on this cart. Um, and so that's it. Appreciate y'all tuning in. A little bit longer of a walkthrough video here, uh, but there was some minutia to the setup that uh, I really wanted to cover. Speakers are sounding great. System sounds great. It just uh, took me a, a few minutes to, several minutes to figure out how to do all of that there. All right. Appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Like, subscribe, comment if you've got questions about this particular setup. I will be happy to provide answers. Peace.